Hey everyone, um, this is notes D and this is going to be for checkpoint number two. So there's just one set of notes for checkpoint number two. So let's just jump right in. Um, and I'm going to be using these, this method, I guess, called diamonds. So that's what we're doing in um, this set of notes. So the very first thing you have to um, put in your notes is the objective for today. So um, here's the objective. If you want to go ahead and pause this video and then type out this objective, you can right now. The objective or the goal for today is that um, I'm you're going to raise to yourself, right? I can be given one aspect of a function, equation, tables, graph, picture, or words for a linear, exponential, or quadratic function and find the other aspects. So what this is saying is I'm going to give you one of these things. So like I'll give you an equation and then you will give me the other four things, table, graph, picture, or words. Or maybe I give you the words and then you give me the other four things, equation, table, graph, picture. So that's what we're doing today. Again, make sure this yellow sentence goes in our first box, okay? And then let's make our way to slide number two. So I'm gonna talk just briefly what we've done so far in checkpoint one, we've done tables, We've done equations, we've done word problems, and now we're going to add in graphs. So we're going to do all four things and put them all together. And we're going to use this thing called a diamond to help us put all these parts together. So here is my table, my equation, my words, my graph, and we're actually going to add in a picture. It's not necessarily part of our list, but it's going to help us visualize what's going on. Okay, so here is slide one and here is our first example the only thing you really need open is um desmos okay now i'm giving you an equation and then i'm asking you to fill out these other missing four parts the table the graph the picture and the words so this is our objective right here i'm also telling you what kind of equation it is it's a linear equation it's linear okay so I think I'm going to start first by taking this equation and putting it into the table. So I'm going to show you how to make a table from an equation. First things first, we are always going to have our starting value first. So you have to ask yourself and think about checkpoint one. When you look at this equation, what number is my starting value? And hopefully you know it's this one that's not attached to X which for us is the number four. So how you write a starting value is you are always gonna put zero in for X, but your Y is the starting value, four. So again, you always put zero in for X, the Y is the starting value. So if my starting value was 10 right here, right? If I had a 10 right here, it would be zero, 10. If my starting value was negative seven, right? My starting value is zero, negative seven. Whatever this number is, that's going to be what goes in the table, but it's going to go in the y. Your x is a zero, okay? So zero, four is my starting value. Then you're going to fill out the rest of these x values, and it's always going to go zero, one, two, three. Always, 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 at least from my examples, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so go ahead and fill that out on your table. Now, how I move the Y values, I have to know what my rate of change is. How are my Y values changing? Well, when you look at this equation, what number is in your rate of change spot or what number is right next to X? So for us, that would be the number one. That is your rate of change. So that's telling you, and it's a positive one, it's a positive one. So that's telling you how your numbers are changing. So I start at four. Then I'm going to be going up by one. So that goes five. Then I'm going to be going up by one again, six. Then my last one, seven. Okay, so this table right now matches this equation because I have a starting value of four and then it's going up by one. Okay. We're not done yet. We still have to do graph, words, and picture. So let's do our graph next. So we're going to make a graph in Desmos and we're going to start by just typing this equation in Desmos. Y equals 1x plus 4. So here we go. Y equals 1x 
plus four. And here's my graph. Now, I also, to kind of check myself and make sure I'm doing everything right, I'm also going to put some of these points from my table in Desmos. So the first point is going to be zero, four. Just remember how we put in points. It's got to be on its own line. It's parentheses zero comma four. That's how a point looks. And right now, this is a really good sign because that point is on my line, which means it's right. If it's on your line, it's right. Okay, let's put in my next point one comma five so remember on its own separate line one comma five and then let's do one more i want three points two comma six so on its own line two comma six and as you can see all three of those points are on my line which means my points are matching my equation which is good Okay, so every graph you make, I'm going to ask that you put three points, just three, not all of them, just three. Now, here's the kind of tricky part. We need to get this graph from Desmos over into our diamond right here. Okay, so follow along and we'll do it over and over and over again throughout these notes. So what you're going to do to get this graph over to your diamonds is you're going to start, you're going to follow the arrows. Okay, so the first arrow I see is up here in the top right i'm going to click on that the next arrow i see is right here where it says it's kind of like going upwards i'm going to click on that and then all you have to do is click this picture and drag it over to your diamond and then just drop it in your diamond and there is the graph that you just made that matches this table that matches this equation so let me show you again or you could rewind it if you want to rewatch it but I just followed the arrows. Here's my first arrow, the top right, my second arrow for export, and then I just clicked and drug it over to my diamond and put it down, okay? So um, next we're gonna go to the picture, the picture. So your picture needs to be a visual. It's gotta show how it's changing. So we're always gonna start with the word start. So go ahead and type the word start. And you need to ask yourself, what is my starting value again? Well, remember it's four. We put it in our equation, in our table, it's four, okay? Now we wanna show four of something. So I'm just gonna pick a random symbol like the money symbol. And I'm going to show that I have four of them. Okay. Again, you can pick the at symbol. You could pick, pick the hashtag and exclamation points. Just don't put the number four. Show me four of something. Okay. So four money signs. Now we're going to say that after the first time, how many, um, how many money symbols should we have? We'll look over here. After the first time, I should have five, right? They're going up by one. So for this time, I'm going to say I have five money symbols. And then second time around, how many do I have? I should have six. So I'm going to type out six. Oops. Five, six. And all I really want to see is three separate times. I want to see how it's changing. It's going up by one every time, a visual. All right, we are almost done. The last thing we have is words. So um, always start your word problems with a name. So I'm going to use the name Jim, okay? And ask yourself, what is my starting value again? Well, it's four, right? Four in my equation, four in my table, for money symbols. So you need to make up a situation saying Jim has four of something. It could be four shoes, it could be four shirts, it could be four dogs. I mean, you make up whatever you want. I'm going to say Jim has four dogs. That's your first sentence. The next sentence should be saying how it's changing. What is the rate of change? Remember, my rate of change is one going up by one right? So I'm going to say, and you can kind of make it your own. I'm going to say every year he gets one more dog. 
you could say every day, you could say every minute, every hour, every month, whatever you want to say, but say that it's going up by one more. Okay. Now this diamond is done. We started with the equation. We just made all of the rest based on that equation. And that